Wola. And I'm Lisa Griffin. And we're forestry technicians at Sir Sanford Fleming College. The purpose of this video is to explain to you what character wood is and how it's a valuable part of the forest product industry. Here are some topics we're going to cover. Okay, so the first thing you might want to know about character wood is what is it? Alicia? Well, when we're looking at character wood, you want to separate character and wood to figure out what character wood actually is. What is wood? Well, what is a character, you might ask? A character is any unique feature in the tree, such as damage done by insects or disease. When you're looking at the unique physical characteristics of the tree, we're actually looking at the tree's phenotype. Character wood tells a tree's story. Dry summers, wet springs, hot fires, wildlife activity, swamps, and difficult, difficult growing sites. All are shown inside the wood phenotype. Now we're going to go over some different types of character wood. The first kind of character we're going to go over is called spalting. And spalting is any kind of color change inside the wood caused by fungus. This fungus is called turkey tail. So another type of character wood is caused by insect damage. Um, this ash tree is showing insect damage from the emerald ash borer, or Gorilla planus penis. It affects all ash species or fractionist species, true, true ash species anyways. So um, what the insect does is it lays eggs into the phloem um, just underneath the bark. The eggs hatch and then they eat to the xylem, creating all of these um, little pathways. Now these pathways damage the tree, um, stop the tree from living because it doesn't allow the nutrients to flow through the tree. But they do, like I said, create these interesting tunnels and when the tree does pass on, it can actually be used to create very interesting pieces of wood for furniture or artwork. Another tree characteristic is host response. It's most commonly found in box elders, which is also called Manitoba maple in Canada. Um, and its Latin name is Acer Nugunda. As you can see, this tree grows very irregular and has a very uneven crown. Um, this gives the wood a lot of very unique characteristics once harvested. Another tree that shows a lot of character uh, are many species of willow. There are many species of willow that have abnormalities found within the stem of the tree. This is a great portion of the tree to harvest for character wood, as there is a lot of wood there. The abnormalities in the woods wood is caused by damage to the cambium. Damage to the cambium comes from fungal or um, disease and when damage is caused to the cambium, when the wood fibers grow, they twist or warp. And uh, when they're twisted or warped, that's when you get these unique ridges or layers up the tree. Another example of character wood are burls. Burls are an irregular growth outside of the cambium on the tree. Burl wood is unique in character because it has an irregular grain pattern. Some interesting burl wood has epicormic growth coming out of it. Another kind of character wood can be found within crotch wood portion of a tree. Um, crotch wood is typically denser and harder and usually exhibits a beautiful kind of grain. Compression exerted by the forces of the stems onto the main supporting part of the tree compress the cambium. The the compressed cambium then grows into a very interesting grain. Well, when is the best time to find character wood? Well, the best time to find character wood is actually during the long winter months. Um, during that time, there's no foliage on the tree, so it's easier to see the trunk and uh, its characteristics on the trunk. Um, as well, you can walk in a variety of different areas, such as swamps like the one behind us. The ground is frozen and it's easier to access. In conclusion, thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We hope that you've learned a lot about character wood and its value in the forest product industry.